Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. We've had a drought for the past few months and our farm needs water. So let's go. So guys, I would like to show you um, how we do this, um, and this is our beautiful lake. Let's take a look here. This is where our boat is in the summertime, and very soon this lake will be completely ice covered. So you see here on the border of the lake how low the water level really is after our drought, and I know you guys from the Pacific Northwest uh, you might really think that I'm crazy talking about a drought here but um, this lake is actually fed its water supply comes from 50% from underground springs so um, I would think that the water the runoff that's going into the lakes the little creeks and rivers they are pretty much dried out um, and this lake is doing fairly well you see normally all of this is completely it's, it's like at least three feet higher I would say so what we do here I've got a little Honda four-stroke gasoline driven water pump and we're gonna suck the water right out of the lake this lake it's it's a very big lake it's about 12 13 miles long I would say about 20 kilometers um, and and we are in a little bay here but up there um, it's actually 15 kilometers wide, so maybe maybe about eight miles, nine miles, and it's it's a very deep lake. It's about 100 yards deep, 300 feet deep, about. One of the clearest lakes in Sweden, because the water supply comes from underground. So we can use this water perfectly fine for our animals. Actually, two of our neighbors they get all their drinking water and everything out of this lake. It's, there are no factories. There's nothing here. It's one big forest lake. So got the pump hose leading into this one cubic meter I think it's about a cubic yard I think they're the same um, leading in here um, and then we drive it back up to the farm in this um, trailer that we actually built ourselves um, and it's it, it's gonna weigh way over a ton the water itself is it's gonna weigh w one ton plus the trailer and our quad has to work quite heavily to get this thing up the hill and we've had a little rain the last days maybe half an inch not much but it's enough to make the ground surface a little muddy so we'll see what happens let's get the pump started
Where it comes. Fresh and clear water. So, I mean, this is a pretty much endless water supply for us, which we're very happy. We want to lay a water line from down the lake up to the farm so we don't have to do these drives anymore, but that's a future project. But this is amazing, don't you think, guys? I mean, what a scenery. We are so blessed. So, this should take about, this should take about 10 to 15 minutes to fill up. So while I'm waiting for the water tank to fill up, that actually always gives me a few moments to look around. And here I see that the nets are fishing nets. They are not taken care of yet. Gosh, you guys really get to see all of it. I actually never noticed this, but you have the gallons right next to it. So. I mean, I have about 275 gallons in this tank, I would think, when it's filled up all the way. So it's almost full all the way, but we want to actually do it all the way. So it's completely full. We want to put the lid on it because it's a bumpy ride home. This trailer has a very, I mean, the weight of the trailer is quite high up now with this big water tank. And I'm always scared that I will tip this thing over. We used to have a different trailer. I've tipped that other trailer over a couple times with a smaller water tank, but I don't want this trailer to tip over. So we want to fill it up all the way so the water can't move around and really mess around with the whole weight. Okay, there's water running out of the trailer. You might be able to see it. That is definitely full. Okay, there we go. Let's load up and get going. So our Honda four-wheeler will definitely have to work hard in order for us to get this load up the hill. I would always almost like a six-wheeler here, but let's go. Slow and steady. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, we always want to let you be part of our lives. So make sure to check back and make sure to subscribe to our channel. See you later.